Hey, where's somebody going? Come back. Yes, come back. Looking professional today, somebody. I don't like it. I don't like I don't like any of it. Why not? I don't like it. No. No, I don't like it. Sorry. I just don't like it. It's more like it, eh? Hey, you forgot something. Let's go cut out. What's up, man? Oh, oh, sorry. Well, welcome to this next episode. Uh, I'm trying to get Spain to meet Asia, and uh, that is through using tortilla as my base. I think I mentioned tortilla was uh, discovered 10,000 BC, a lot of long time ago. And uh, well, my marinade is mainly kind of. Asian, Asian flavors, I have sweet chili and uh, Sichuan sauce. Um, I'm blending the two together. Let's see what language comes out. Hopefully something delicious. So stay tuned, I guess, and we'll cook it up in a couple of next frames. All right, so for the ingredients today, we have some minced garlic, cumin, red wine vinegar, hot sauce, chives, parsley, lime, and also lime zest. And then we got chalet, pepper, dried oregano. I have some uh, extra virgin olive oil, salt, and I have sour cream to finish with. And this sauce here is uh, consisting of uh, shallots, onion, lemon, lemon zest, uh, Sichuan sauce, red chili paste, and uh, yuzu, a little bit of uh, ponzu, and, uh, wait a second, I might have forgot something. Uh, sweet chili sauce. And that's uh, what we're gonna use to marinate our skirt steak. And obviously, out of these ingredients, I'm gonna make some chimichurri on the side. So stick around and then uh, we'll use everything up. Still good? Okay. Yeah. Too many traps. What is this Damien guy doing? It's taking so long. Come on man, like let's let's just go. Why am I holding the cup in my hand like that? Is he putting money in my hand in the, in the cup? I hope he's he is. It's like it's taking so much time. Oh man, like the shallots are just making me cry and no, I don't wanna cry on camera. <sighs>
So guys, we are uh, we did our chimichurri. Now I'm just gonna salt the meat. Like be quite generous with the salt. Just make sure you hit almost every surface area as we can. That's why you go higher so you can see where your salt is landing. Uh, a little bit of uh, black pepper as well. Give it a little bit of a pinch. Not as much as salt, unless you really like black pepper. Alright, remember which hand you use, so you don't touch the salt with the wrong hand. Just gonna flip this bad boy in a way that is. Oh, so I was watching this video and I realized I skipped one step, uh, which is removing some of the silver skin and some of the fat, um, so the flavor can penetrate into the meat and the marination and the cooking will become a little bit easier and more flavorful. I guess I have to give this advice to myself in the past so I don't do it in the future again. So there is life hacks that you can learn. When you dip it in the water, holy you might have filled up too much water, that's fine. So you push it down, 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 the air will escape slowly, slowly, slowly. Lock one side and push it down. Lock another side slowly while pushing down. Make sure no water goes inside. And look at that. It's sealed. There you go. Done.
Oh, this is the end of this episode. Ah, uh, thank you guys for sticking around. Um, well, this is uh, what we have for today. Uh, I hope you liked it, and uh, please feel free to comment uh, whatever you think we can add, or if you think you can add any ingredients to tweak it around. Nothing is step on stones. We are just experimenting here, and uh, we we'll look forward to hear from you. And uh, by all means, stick around, and we'll, we'll have more coming. Hmm. Do we?